I think that's a game uh, we certainly expected. Um, I mean, that's a great playoff hockey game. Two teams playing hard and comes down to the final horn. I mean, that game's up for grabs both ways. Really uh, happy on how our team kept coming back uh, after their goal. So, um, you know, we didn't quit. Resilient. Uh, and when it had to be done, our top guy got it done. Our top line did it again. Can you talk about, you know, our, and that's at that time of year when seniors are, you need your seniors to, to play with urgency and make those plays. No question. Uh, game's on the line. Your guys, your big guys have to be big, and they were. And I, I you know what, from start to finish, I thought Mark said that was the cog. He was the guy. He was the guy in that line that was all over the ice. First back on the back check, first guy back on the, on the back check. Uh, relentless on the forecheck, you know, obviously our top line has to do that for us to, to get through and win a championship here. So that's, it takes four wins for an NCAA bid. We got one down, so three to go. You guys hadn't played a game in, in two weeks. Yeah. You said that there were any cobwebs in the first period? Or? Yeah, I, you know what? Um, I was happy with our first period, but there were some guys, like we, we were in the coaches, and like, okay, so-and-so looked a little rusty, and, you know, I thought, I thought there was maybe – uh, one and a half lines that did look sluggish, no question. And, you know, that's, is that having two weeks off? Probably. Um, but a guy like, you know, our gray line, uh, the Lochner, Coles, Diviak line, w their best period was the third period. So they got going as the game wore on. So hopefully tomorrow they have their legs. And uh, just to follow up to that, getting swept by Air Force, do you think that was a, uh, maybe worked as a sense of motivation for you guys? That was huge. You know, we, uh, we had clinched. Clint's so early and, you know, we were playing to keep stay in the pairwise, but we traveled out there and uh, for whatever reason, it, it wasn't the Niagara team. We didn't have any fight. We didn't have any energy in the tank. We, we buried that. We had a great team meeting when we got back, had some team building on our week off, and um, that's behind us. Can you talk about Drew Bass a little bit and make stop late? Yeah, I thought, he, I thought he was solid. You know, he got us whistles when, uh, you know, I think – uh, we, we played four lines all night. They didn't. So there's times the game management subtle whistles when we need to change this, which I thought he got. So, uh, yeah, he played like a veteran, made the saves. You know, it's not sometimes how many, but I, I really, really liked his calmness back there for us. That was a, a very good – looked like a veteran goalie, which you're going to need in playoff hockey, obviously. Can you t talk about your goal? What happened in that goal? Uh, which one? The last one, the last one uh, well, it got out to the point there, and uh, Weiser did a great job getting it through on net. Uh, Marky did a great job finding the rebound, and he actually uh, gave it to me back door there. I had pretty much an open net other than the goalie's pad out there. He made a great play. He made it easy for me, so he shot it and went in. Gee, this is the playoffs, and, you know, as you can tell, uh, it's in a much more intense pace of the game. How do you guys fight to, to gain that extra space and, you know, uh, make plays and make things happen around the net or, or anywhere for that matter? Well, it was good. Uh, starting playing Mercyhurst and Air Force, we, uh, we really focused on making it a, a playoff atmosphere. So those games we treated uh, like playoff games, uh, really intense. And uh, after with our bye, we really practiced hard and got really intense in practice. And it just made it easy coming in tonight. Well, not easy, but we, we really worked hard. Can you talk about, you know, they get the first goal, They've got a lot of momentum, obviously, and you, you know that they're, they're a very good team. What were you guys able to do, or what were you talking about to keep yourselves up to, to keep coming back? Well, we just wanted to keep establishing a good forecheck. We get a lot of momentum off of our forecheck. Uh, after that first goal, we all just kind of looked at each other. Stay calm, boys. It's going to come. It's going to come. We are getting our shots, and we just stayed confident. Did it come down to getting that bounce you know, off the glass right next to the left that you put down? Well, yeah, that was huge, too. Uh, he made a great play on the breakout, and then he uh, – he attacked the net and put that one in. That was that was obviously huge. That turned uh, the momentum a little bit for us, and uh, that was a great play. Rookie, how important was it staying out of the box? Huge. I mean, you saw there. You know, they they got one on us, and their their power play in the third there to get them back in the game. But um, you know, I thought we we're real disciplined. We played hard. We had a you know we had a lot of guys nominated for hit the night. We had some big we had some big time hits, but uh, you know, and and they're really fast. So just you know, not to get tangled up or take the. Uh, the hooks and the holds, I thought we were very disciplined, which you need to do on one of the best power plays in the nation. So, you know, on the other side of the coin, I thought our power play, although we didn't score, got us momentum uh, and changed the flow of the game. And then we followed it up with Beatty's goal, which was a huge momentum change. So, you know, our, our defense, you know, chipped in with four points for us. That's huge. For them to help on the offensive blue line was huge. Coach, is 
there anything specifically that needs to change for tomorrow, or is it you know just play your game? No, blue collar. We, you know we need to be the hardest working team. This is the time of year where will beat skill, and you know as, as G said, I, we we got to get in and establish our forecheck, and we can wear teams down with our depth. Should we talk about you know, establishing a forecheck? They have speed, so you don't want to get get caught. Do you, do you have to adjust it all, or do you just still? Go the same way. Uh, we like to really go hard on our forecheck, but at the same time, we want to make sure our third guy is responsible, cutting through the middle of the ice, and uh, hopefully taking away any odd man rushes because of their good speed. A little, not, not for your line, but in general, with that, that first period, you had two weeks off. Was it coming, you know, a little bit of getting back into the, the, the flow of the game at all that first period? Uh, not too much. I, I felt like for the most part we were doing all right. We got our shots done. We, we had over uh, 10 shots. I think we had 13 or 14 mm -hmm. that period. So I thought we did a good job coming out in the first period and playing good hockey.